now 18. I also do have double Ravenous Flock. I'm gonna kill it. That would be ideal. If we can kill it with double Ravenous Flock, we can play a new Leviathan. In fact, a new Leviathan can get a third Ravenous Flock. And welcome, everybody here in Twitch chat, and everybody on YouTube for some Sejuani Swain as our second Swain deck here in Swain Spotlight Night. We're going to be playing um, a deck that I really like, but specifically because of a card I really like, City Breaker. So we're going to have not only Leviathan, but then we'll have little mini Leviathan with City Breaker. I think City Breaker is a lot of fun. It's also round start, deal one to the enemy Nexus, which is perfect for both of our champions because obviously we need to do a lot of non-combat damage with our Swain but then remember whenever we have our leveled up Swain that damage will be stunning the strongest enemy. Now with Sejuani we need to do damage to the enemy Nexus in different rounds so the City Breaker will do damage round after round just like Leviathan. So after a couple of rounds that will level up our Sejuani and then we'll be able to Frostbite enemies immediately at round start with City Breaker. So yeah, so we're gonna kind of have that be our top end. City Breaker, Swain, Sejuani, Leviathan. That's the goal. All right, so what's the rest of the deck? The rest of the deck is going to be lots of small amounts of damage. We're gonna have Ice Shards, which again, do Nexus damage to help level Sejuani. We'll have two Ravine, two Avalanche. The Ravine's kind of a little nicer in here because it does Nexus damage to help level up the Sejuani. But it, it is like four regular unit mana because it's a landmark. It's not spell mana. Um, so it's kind of expensive. So we only got two of those and two Avalanche because of that. But Ravine also does basically level up Swain by itself because it's doing damage to your Nexus and the opponent's Nexus and all of the units. So it can kind of level up Swain by itself. And we'll combine those together with like um, Ravenous Flock. Scorched Earth, you know, ways to kill larger units. I got a Spicy Blades Edge in here, kind of like the City Breaker, right? Like we can use this to do Nexus damage. So if we have leveled up champions, we can use that Blades Edge to kind of surprise uh, Frostbite all their stuff with Sejuani or, um, you know, uh, Stun with Swain. It's possible that I should just be playing the third Death Sand. I kind of just wanted to play a Blades Edge and get a card that's a little cheaper, but, you know, maybe that should just be the third. Uh, Death Sand. If Blades, you know, whenever we have this Blades Edge, you can think, would Death Sand be better? Yes or no? You know, whether or not we should change that. We got a little bit of Frostbite and Utility with Three Sisters, some good blockers with Sentry and Spider. Basically, the point of I know the Avros and Sentry and the House Spider do die to all of our AOE damages, but kind of the thinking here is we want to have, we want to put these in play first, so therefore our opponents go wider. They put more units in play, and then our our Avalanche and Ravine are even more devastating. Okay, let's go ahead and get to it, though. Let's go ahead and play some games with Sejuani Swain. Yeah, hopefully we're pretty good against aggro with having all of our different AoE removal spells. Okay, so it looks like we got Lurkers to start with. We got a mirror match board-wise. Lurkers put in a lot of power, but not very much health, so our... Our small damage things should be pretty good against Lurkers. Maybe they'll miss? Nope. They did not miss. Alright, Sentry's a good blocker. Yeah, that's good. All right, so they are two for two. The, the Lurk dream so far. Nothing escapes my watch. Look up for Reavers. Three rounds, three Lurks. Not very good for us. All right, so we got City Breaker. Yeah. Seed Breaker gonna start that damage going. Mm. Four rounds, four lurks. This is getting a little absurd. I 
guess it's gonna be five rounds, five lurks now. All right, down to seven. All right, heal up a little bit. Welcome to the tipsy hour. All right, cool. This wide ravine looking good. That's gonna be a good wide ravine. Huge. Five lurks already. Oh, that thing's big. Oh, come on, another one of those. So this will be a 4-7 to block. Looks like I'm blocking with this plus troll chance. Master your demons. If they have Pike Champion spell, or like, you know, like just Pike spell, we pretty dead. I'll be else taking eight. Cool. Order, sir. Bring so getting the second Swain gives us Ravenous Flock to shoot this thing next round. No. That was lucky. That was pretty lucky. Mm, I want to heal the... I want to heal the Swain so that then I could Avalanche. I don't want to do that. So then they like they like they play another attacker. I avalanche. <laughs> Streamer luck. Yeah, too good at this game. That's why you play House Fighter, right? Like we had Legion Grenadier at first to get the Legion Grenadier dude like the one point of Nexus damage to so help level up Sejuani, but good thing we went with the House Fighter, get the two different units. Oh no! Oh no! I'm dead? Oh, I died. Oh, Rek'Sai on top. I was not expecting Rek'Sai, especially how like they never like lurked a Rek'Sai ever. Oh, I should have waited around before that avalanche. I should have, you know, I should have passed priority again. So basically, so we're we're dead in the water because this attacks is going to turn into 11 and then level up 12. Like, this is going to attack for 12 Overwhelm, and I can block, like, 6 Overwhelm. So. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. Yeah, I mean, I guess the... If the last card was specific... Like, that's the only card that kills me, was specifically Rek'Sai. So, yeah, I guess I guess I didn't save Avalanche to the last card Rek'Sai. But the, the, the thing about playing the Avalanche is I kind of... I need to play it because, like, if I... Like, like, let's say that card wasn't Rek'Sai, and I don't play Avalanche, then they get to attack with those two, and then I have to block with either Swain or Leviathan. And I don't want to block with Swain or Leviathan. Shurima Viego. Alright. Mulligan... It all... The Scorched Earth could be, like, really important for killing a Viego, but I don't have anything to do damage, but, you know, the... There's a lot of cards in the deck that can do damage. Two health, one damage. Blade's Edge.
So, you know, the Blade's Edge could be a Death's Hands. We'd have two Death's Hands. We could have one. We'll get rid of that Reaper. All right, a little extra damage for... Yeah. A little extra damage for Swain level up. City breaker. Break the city. Yes. I was hoping that would scare them from attacking. That was exactly what I was hoping. They'd be too scared to attack. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Loyalty to conquest. Gonna find a gift for an action. Right, Arda? Forgetting is death to an immortal. Alright, so the Ice Shard will level up Swain. Submission or death Why or Diego? <laughs> Boo. Okay. So that doesn't stun anything? That doesn't look like it stuns anything. Doesn't necessarily look like the best play. So they're going to attack with Viego. Viego would be a 7-6. Um, Swain is at 7 right now. So one Ice Shard would do 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Like, one Ice Shard does 10 damage. So it would level up Swain, but it doesn't, doesn't look like it's going to stun anything. Let's talk about this. Patience is a tactician's greatest tool. Doo -doo -doo -doo. If they don't have any removal, our Swain will be able to hit them at the beginning of the next round with the City Breaker deal one stun open it like with open attack. Well, that's annoying. So they're destroying a mana gem? We can set up a really cool board, but I don't know if we defeat Viego. It's unfortunate, but true. Maybe I should have blocked this soldier. We love it when they run. So uh, Swain's at 9 out of 12. The Death Sand's going to level it up to be 12 out of 12. So therefore, round start, we get a couple of stuns in with the two safety breakers. Also, if I play Leviathan next round, we'll have two extra mana. Bingo. The two extra mana will uh, be able to cast a Ravenous Flock. <gasps> Scorched Earth! I was thinking Ravenous Flock for this thing, but of course they could just like kill whatever. Alright, so no Leviathan. We go in Scorched Earth. Yeah, so have them attack first. Rude. Step lightly. No place for men. Cause let's see, cause that's eighteen. Yeah, like this this Viego levels up if they have another right of negation anyway. Not much for, for me to do about that. 
Gotta hope no right of negation. I got a three sisters. Cool, no right of negation. If they had a right of negation, I could like frostbite the five two. So whenever it dies, it's like zero power. That wouldn't level up Diego. Dude, city breakers are awesome. Yeah, I guess technically we could Entomb, that's true, could do that as well. I was thinking the Frostbite, because then I wouldn't level up, and then I would have another City Breaker alive still. So we can stun five things, round start. I guess I just pass. Yeah, I don't really want to flock and like give them more board space. She waits for me beyond the beast, my queen. Like all, all five of these are gonna be stunned round start anyway. City Breaker Swain. Looks like we're probably gonna be in yeah, maybe we're gonna be entombing the Viego this next round. Sejuani's leveled up as well, if we find Sejuani. Because, yeah, they're, they are going hard for leveling up Viego. Sure looks like. Yeah, they are going real hard for leveling Viego. Because that's 15. Now 18. I also do have double Ravenous Flock. i kill it. That would be ideal. If we can kill it with double Ravenous Flock, we can play a new Leviathan. In fact, a new Leviathan can get a third Ravenous Flock. We have trips. Three Ravenous Flocks. It probably doesn't survive three Ravenous Flocks, right? Oh! I don't have another Swain in my deck! What am I doing? These are both Swains or Ravenous Flocks. I need to cast one first and then get it back. Yeah, alright. Can't believe I just did that. All right, cool. Whew, not punished. We could have definitely got punished there. But I mean, I guess even... Okay, so we go back to having the attack token the next round. So we're the active player. So even if Viego levels up, our round start abilities are going to happen first. So they're going to be taking eight round start damage anyway, and they're at seven. So it doesn't, like, the Viego doesn't matter. So actually, we're, we, we good, we good. We call these cardiac games. Both these games are like so close. <laughs> one went our way, one did not. Timo Ez. Love Blades Edge. See? Dude, Blades Edge is a spicy one. So we'll have that. And I think I'm keeping this whole thing. I could see sending the Tower and Keeper back, but it's a fine card to keep. Yeah, Swain is a really, really well designed card, isn't it? It's, it's so fun. It's a, it's a great card. Nothing escapes my watch. In Avarosa's name. I wonder what kind of watch they have that nothing escapes it. Like, how big is this watch? Um. Can't. No score shirts for me. And like, do, do you think his wrist is ever tired? Because, like, how big his watch is? Safeguard our home. Get him, City Breaker. Hmm. We'll do it now. Because then they use, like, Troll Chant save, we flock. Or if I let them open attack. We don't, you know, we can't really do this on an open attack. Because it would hit me first. Scorched Earth. Avalanche not looking so hot. 
upon a patrician, I became a soldier. Cool. No Ezreal. Good. No Ezreal and free Mystic Shock. Have a mushroom. Oh no. Have three. I don't want three mushrooms. I don't want any mushrooms. On Avalanche. Yes, there we go. All right, so get one of those out of here. Uh, we can have Flock try to kill this. Um, this thing is important. The Puffcat Peddler. Alright, so we'll have leveled up Swain with City Breaker. I will break them. Cool. Love, love drawing champion spells, right? Because then you can shuffle champion spells back into the deck because they don't have the Puffcaps and everything. You want to put them back in there. I should just troll chant first. I, I was gonna plan on troll chanting anyway. They go in Fury of the North? Wow. Wow. We can play Frostbite too, you know. So I know that thing's gonna get stunned round start anyway, but I like getting, you know, kind of like getting cards out of my hand, like doing that. I mean, I guess maybe just playing the house spider is better. Get more attackers. Figured they're gonna be like frostbite and the swain either way. They already have to use frostbite on swain. Yeah, I, I should have played the house spider. Yeah, I should play house spider. Alright, so they're down to seven. Oh, if mushrooms could talk. What would they say? Prepare the cargo! There is no excess when victory is at stake. No. No, my boy City Breaker. Alright, so this gets rid of a target for Ezreal, and it should, and we don't get the puff caps for this, for the peddler. We also put the Swain back into the deck, so that's another card that doesn't have a puff cap. And now I have eight cards, so whenever I draw two, we don't just get rid of a card. Which that card would have been Sentry, which I'm never going to play anyway. So it would have been okay. If I Frostbite, then they can target twice and level up. So probably going to Entomb. So three sisters Entomb take six mana, which means I only have three other mana. House Spider and Flock. Could have meant Tavern Keeper, but I want to try to kill this Peddler and get this Peddler out of here. Entomb does allow them to play a new Ezreal. I probably should have played the flock first because they're incentiv you know they're incentivized to play stuff. Yeah, I I've, I have lost to that before in tombing and getting double ezed. All right, kill that right now before this in tomb. After the battle. 
Yeah, so I definitely should have played that house spider before. If I lose this game, it'll probably be, like that house spider will probably be the reason why. Like I could have had that house spider attack. That other turn. Not expecting to lose this game though, but it's possible. You never know what can happen when you're at war. Such little love. So how do they stop this other Leviathan? I don't know. My plans. Ah! Order, sir. Bring our All right, that should be a win. That's going to be a win. Because, yeah, Leviathan, round start, does three Nexus. Let's go. Swain, 7-1 and one on the day. Did City Breaker again really clutch that, that game? So their landmark would happen. Yeah, they were going to be the active player, so their landmark would happen first. So if they... If they yeah, if they have me draw, and if I draw, like, the 12 puff cap so I die, then I would die before the Leviathan kill them. So they, they still could have one if they didn't concede there. You never know. They could have 12 puff caps on a card. All right, Silver Action's got to be difficult to beat, right? Silver Action's, like, impossible. Hmm, hopefully Blighter being good. Yeah, we haven't seen any Sejuani's yet. This would be a perfect match for Sejuani, right? Like, this is where we want Sejuani against these things. Yeah, but Sivir, Sivir good, Sivir good. So I'm not holding out too much hope. Waking Sands. So Sentry save five life. Seems like a worthy death for Sentry, say five life. Okay, we got a Sejuani game, but we do not have a very good. What's it called? We don't have a very good level up Sejuani game. We need our city breakers. Oh. Greed'll turn any man into a monster. Oh, take the attack first. What am I doing? I've for, I'm at 18. So I should be at 16 right now. I just I take the attack first. So I have two less life than what I should. Yep, yep, yep. Yep. Could have two more life than what I do. This place reeks of rot and death. Smells like adventure and money, you mean? So Juani kind of gets eaten up by the Fleet Feather Tracker anyway. Scared of a fair fight? Yeah, so it seems like you are with the, your spell shield. That definitely sounds like scared of a fair fight to me. Still have five cards over there, same as we do, plus they have this Warlord's Palace. Attack. Yeah, so action will be leveled up. <laughs> yeah, Treasure Seeker made no sense to print. Whenever they're like, okay, Doom Keeper's too good, we have to nerf it. How about we just print a card that's better than Doom Keeper? The, the exact same time we're nerfing Doom Keeper. <laughs> that makes no sense.
Don't you love people that emote with the very best deck in the format? So hoping the Ravenous Flock can kill it. Yeah, these Preservariums have been clutch. So many extra cards. We need Leviathan and City Breaker. We need those things to level up Sejuani and Frostbite stuff and everything. Really? That's pretty silly. I, I'm gonna want to. I want to play the new Sejuani anyway, right? Like I, I don't want a three health Sejuani. I want a six health Sejuani. But so that's gonna be the th three out of whatever for Sejuani. But yeah, like just get all these cards. City Breaker, Leviathan. Okay. So this is going to be it's 3 out of 5 right now. This is going to be 4 out of 5. This one's a fighter. You cannot run from absolution. Good people don't look the other way. Alright, so round start, Leviathan will be number five for Sejuani. I've got your back. That's right. Run. So yeah, y'all on YouTube, um, yeah, I missed it with the Scorch Earth. I was only focused on the Scorch Earth killing the Warlord's Palace. I missed the Scorch Earth killing the Merciless Hunter, which it could have done. Um, yeah, I was my, I, I was thinking too far ahead, you know, like what, what I was doing with the Sejuani Swain, all that kind of stuff, and thinking that that's what the Scorch Earth was going to be doing. And yeah, I just, I missed that, so. Um, my bad. I don't think anything here is a mulligan. If I would have used the Scorched Earth on the Merciless Hunter, that would have saved me seven life right there, so I take three. I was what, I was at nine, so three down to six, and they just have, they have action and then two draws, and I have, yeah, so I, I think I should, I probably, probably win that game, if I would have, yeah, probably win that game, if I would have cast the Scorched Earth. So probably should be three and one, yeah, because they had, they were going to have just two random cards, and I had Leviathan and Sejuani. It would be pretty difficult for us to lose the game. Not impossible, but it would have been pretty difficult to lose the game. These old eyes still see far. So I'm sorry. I'm sorry about that. Border from here. Pride filled us forever. Oh, we weren't expecting callers.
All right, so this will mean we just take one, go down to 13. Yeah, I'm, I'm sorry about that. Yeah, it's, <laughs> it's, it's Viego. It looks like Thresh Nasus, not quite Thresh Nasus. Um, but yeah, it kind of looks like Thresh Nasus. I want them to continue to uh, play cards out. I think we're getting pretty good value out of that avalanche. Could have played it, you know, the previous round and just killed two things, but I think that was a better avalanche. Would really like that ice shard again now. Oh, what's up, Swain? I think I'll play Swain. Swain blocks better than Babbling Bjerg, but of course Babbling Bjerg I don't mind dying. I could go Sejuani, what, Frostbite the 3-1? No, the 1-1. One, one. Oh, the 1-1's one, going to challenge here, isn't it? Yeah, 1-1's one challenging right there. So that means we're going to have a 3-3 three, three, and a 3-1 attacking us. Bjerg's drawing Leviathan and Sejuani, that's what it draws. Yeah, I didn't want to attack last round because if I, if I attack, I, you know, like they could have blocked with the Merciless Hunter. I wanted my flock to kill the Merciless Hunter. Yeah, that, that's what I was thinking. Um, but sure, if you're going to say, you know, perfect hindsight, sure, should have attacked. They also probably just take it because, like, three Nexus damage isn't that big of a deal. Like, if they already had, like, this plan out, like, they're just not going to block. So it's, it's whatever. They're at 19 instead of 16. They didn't... Yeah. Yeah, they could even attack the other one. I'm sure. I don't think that three damage will matter if we win this game. But, you know, you never know. Love it when they run. So they can do 10 damage if they want to challenge with 0-1 and 1-1. Merciless Hunter is quite a fair card. It's... Cool. It's been crazy how many things that I have killed this game. Okay, Black Spearin, last card. No, all right. You own what you pick. Interesting. All right, so they have a Viego. So I want to kill like this 3-3 right now before the Viego comes into play. And so they, you know, so they can't have it die afterwards. Alright, how you doing, Sejuani? Two? Two's not very much. Alright, Scorched Earth for Viego. Ooh, that can pair with Scorched Earth. So that's six mana, I'd have three other. No, not enough for, Ber for Bjerg or Fury. I know they can play like another thing that challenges and kills the Swain, but I just want that to happen. Okay. We are looking good. They have like what, ruination or something? But even even so. I think we're I think we're gonna get this. So 3-1 could have definitely been or 3-2 could have definitely been 4-1. Sorry about that, y'all. I think we got this. I think we stopped their early onslaught. And they've kind of ran out of stuff after that. I'm going to lead with the Bjerg so we, you know, we'll see if we want to play Swain or Sejuani, right? Like, yeah, okay. There we go. Leading with Bjerg keeps our options open. So the deck was really good. 
three and two, but really should have been a four one. I kind of tilted there against the action Sivir player and lost that one when it was, you know, all I had to do is cast the Scorched Earth on the Merciless Hunter, and then we were in, you know, then we were at like 95% to win if I would have just done that. So that's too bad. Uh, you know, lesson learned. <laughs> you know, keep, keep paying attention. Don't tilt. All that kind of stuff. That was embarrassing, but that's that's how it is. Anyway, I really liked our list. Like, you know, the sentries, house spiders, everything did great. Even that little blade's edge was pretty awesome a lot of different times. You know, it's just really, um, really nice having that one mana spell to do a little bit of damage. City Breaker MVP, that card was really cool with our champions, especially with Swain. We didn't get to pull it off with Sedgwani in the games, but yeah, this was awesome. Your Avalanche Blighter Ravine did its thing. Scorcher did its thing. Really, really cool. I think our list ended up being really nice. So there we go. Two decks in a row with great uh, great list, great records. You know, should be 9-1 on the day. Can't complain about that. Swain looking good so far. All right, so those of y'all watching later on YouTube, y'all know that drill. Hit that like button and feel free to leave the comments about the deck. If you've been looking for a Sejuani Swain deck, hopefully this list uh, gives you some inspiration because, uh, yeah, really enjoyed playing this one. All right, but that's going to be it here for Sejuani Swain. So as always, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you for the next video.